Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez with Tom Loeffler of 360 Promotions. Tom, it's good to see you again. Um, Happy New Year. Um, starting off the, the new year with um, some exciting fights this Sunday at the Avalon in Hollywood, um, headlined by Maricela Cornejo. Talk to me a little bit about um, this fight card that you're putting up. Oh, this is a great show. I mean, the Hollywood Fight Nights has become the most popular local show here in, in Los Angeles. It's, uh, it's a real fight fans... Uh, uh, yeah, you know that th they really like the atmosphere at the Hollywood uh, in the Hollywood nightclub. Uh, Maricela is tremendous. Uh, she's a very marketable person. She was the chief training partner for uh, Cecilia Brekus, the number one female uh, pound for pound boxer, and also uh, undisputed welterweight champion. So, Maricela. Uh, really uh, pushed Cecilia hard and uh, she earned the spot to, to headline the show. This is the first Hollywood show uh, of 2019 and uh, she's fighting Aaron Tohill who's fought Leila Ali, he's fought a lot of big names so that's going to be, that's a local rivalry here in Los Angeles and to headline the show and, and uh, uh, Maricela has challenged for two world titles before, so she's uh, right up there as a world-class fighter. So we're excited about that. Brian Ceballo is, uh, is a co-feature on the show. Uh, we have uh, George Navarro, who's down here at the gym today. He sold a lot of tickets, so it's going to be it's going to be a great night uh, on Sunday. With Maricela Cornejo headlining this fight, um, and every time that I speak to a female fighter, I mean with other fe with male fighters as well, but I, you know, we've all noticed that there's a rise in female boxing, and of course, um, um, much of it has been attributed to the fight cards that you have put on, like um, headline, like the one in December with Cecilia Breakus. Um You see that as well. Just female boxing is on the rise. I see it's definitely on the rise. I mean, uh, all, all, you know, they're very talented, they're very marketable, they just need the platform. And uh, you saw it with Cecilia, she had never fought over here in the United States before. She fought on HBO and then she headlined HBO. She was the first fighter ever, first female fighter ever to be on HBO. And they, they liked her so much, they wanted to have her back and uh, to headline. Then uh, Louisa Houghton, she's been on a lot of our shows. Uh, we had uh, Sinisa Estrada on a lot of the shows. So, um, you know, we, we like to support. Uh, female boxing. Uh, now Maricela is uh, is headlining uh, the show, and uh, you know if we do the rematch with Luisa and Brenda Flores, that's an exciting fight. Uh, you know coming up. So uh, I really think just with the right marketing, uh, Christina Hammer uh, now it looks like she's going to do a unification fight with uh, Clarissa Shields. Clarissa was on the HBO show as well. So you know you just need the right matchups. You need the right exposure and then uh, I mean you saw what Ronda Rousey did in the UFC she took the UFC by storm when Dana actually said he's not gonna put on you know female uh, uh, female fights and then she became the most popular fighter at that time so uh, I, th I really think uh, with the right exposure uh, female boxing can uh, uh, can really take off with the help of promoters um, pushing and you know promoting it well um, but what do the female fighters have to do to continue that uh, momentum going. I think they just got to keep performing in the ring, keep performing at a high level. Uh, what people don't want to see, I mean, they don't want to see mismatches uh, in any boxing match, but uh, in, in a female match, it's, al it's almost more uh, exaggerated if it's a, a one-sided fight. So, you know, the more uh, quality uh, female boxers that you have at world-class level or, or even, you know, at, at, a, at a top local level, and the more entertaining the, the fights are going to be. The, a lot of times the female fights are more exciting than the male fights because they throw so many punches, they got they have shorter rounds, so they have uh, you know a shorter amount of time where they don't you know they can just have more action in the two minutes, and it doesn't you don't have a lot of lulls like you, sometimes you do with the with the male boxers. So I think we'll see a lot of fireworks on uh, on Sunday night because this is really for local pride uh, between Maricela and and uh, and Aaron Tohill, and and uh, you can see you know they were supposed to fight once before they couldn't get it done. I think it was like two years ago, and so now the fight's finally happening, and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great show. And like you mentioned in the beginning, um, at the Avalon, I feel it's, it's uh, you get some fights and then it's also like a party atmosphere, right? And it turns into a club afterwards. It's a Hollywood nightclub. It's boxing inside a Hollywood nightclub. You got the ring on the dance floor. Uh, in between the fights, the DJ is playing music, everyone's serving, you know, they're serving drinks and food, but it's very uh, family friendly. There's no, uh, there's no age limit. A lot of people bring their kids down there. And uh, this one's actually going to be an early. It's the first time we've done a Sunday show 
because a lot of the people are saying, you know, do it on the weekends. We don't want to do it on Saturdays, and you start running into competition with other events. So we're doing it on Sunday. There's no football on this Sunday. Uh, we're going to be cheering for the Rams, but um, uh, it's going to the doors will open at three o'clock. And, and it should be over by 8 o'clock. So anyone that's working Monday morning, it's not going to be a late night. And uh, we're trying to adjust it. And, and we've gotten a really positive response from uh, uh, the people coming, uh, coming down for the show. Absolutely. Well, we'll, we'll be there. We'll check, we'll check out the fights. Um, like you said, not too late for going back to work on Monday. So it works There's, out. There still, is, there still are a few uh, tickets available. It's on 360promotions.us. Um, we had one fighter that got injured, Adrian Corona, unfortunately got injured, um, so he returned some of the tickets, so that made it, uh, so some tickets are available on the floor again, and, and it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a great atmosphere. If you haven't been down there, come down to the Avalon, come down to the Hollywood Fight Nights, you don't know which celebrity is going to show up. We've had a lot of celebrities come by, Yasuo Puig came for the first show, Michael Buffer has been there, Bruce Buffer has been there, Mario Lopez has been there, Omar Miller from Ballers uh, has been there, so, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a fun time, and a lot of boxers uh, come down to support the show as well. And speaking about boxers, you mentioned Brian Sabala is going to be on the card, right? He has a um, great um, amateur background. What are you expecting from him as a professional as he moves up? You know what? This is a step-up fight. He's 6-0 and with three knockouts right now. This is his seventh fight within the first year. So we want to keep Brian really busy. We have a lot of high expectations for Brian. And he's fighting a tough guy. He's fighting Randy Fuentes from, uh, from Texas. So this is a big step-up fight. He's the co-feature. And uh, this one, that, that fight's going to be very competitive. So we'll see how, uh, how Brian does in that step-up fight. And uh, if everything goes well, we're just going to put him on the, on the fast track.